Mediation is a really good way for couples to try and resolve their differences by sitting down together in a room, sounds a bit scary, with a mediator to talk about the issues that they have and to try and resolve them face to face. It quite, sounds quite frightening for some people because sitting in a room with someone that you are you know, having this big dispute with can be quite a scary idea. But the role of the mediator is to give you a, a to produce and to provide for you a safe forum where you can do that and to help you to try and facilitate agreement. The mediator isn't there to tell you what to do or to give you legal advice, but the mediator is there to try and guide you through the process so that you can talk to each other, decide what the issues are and try and find a way to resolve those issues, whether it be issues over children or financial issues. Yes, it is surprising. I often find as a solicitor that I refer couples to or I refer a client to mediation and with that client being initially very reluctant to go and they're going to, to go through the motions. They have to see a mediator in order to get that piece of paper that allows them to make an application to the court. But if they go to the right mediator, someone who can explain the process to them, someone that they have confidence in, then it, it's surprising how many times the client decides to actually give mediation a go, even though that was never really their intention in the first place. A good mediator can turn a reluctant party or a reluctant client into someone who's willing to try mediation and you know, who understands the benefits of mediation. A good mediator will also make you feel safe in the mediation environment. So it may be that there is a power imbalance in your relationship. It may be that you don't feel comfortable sitting in the same, you don't think you're going to feel comfortable sitting in the same room with your spouse. But a good mediator ought to be able to resolve that for you. And um, there are some circumstances in which mediation isn't appropriate. Um, but by and large, mediation tends to be appropriate for most couples um, if they're willing to give it a go. One of the things that I hear a lot as a solicitor and as a mediator, uh, particularly from female clients, is you know, he's never going to agree to anything, he's, you know, he's a really good liar, he, he will never come to mediation and again you know, it's surprising how often that turns out not to be the case. The thing that struck me most in the first mediation I ever conducted was how much of a revelation it was to each person what the other was thinking. I watched a father as he listened to the mother explain to him how his behaviour made her feel and it was like the first time that he'd ever heard that and that's something that you see quite a lot in mediation when couples actually properly listen to each other and as couples properly listen to each other and as they say to each other I didn't realize that that was how you felt and that's really important because it's only when you are properly listening to each other when you can put yourself in the other person's shoes that you can get past the obstacles that are stopping you from reaching an agreement.